Hey guys, welcome back. So we've got another what I eat video today. We got blue toast for breakfast, baked cauliflower for lunch, and also soba noodles for dinner. That's the gist of it. I might change my mind. Who knows? But let's just jump straight into it because we got no time to waste. Okay, so today we're gonna be using some sourdough, and if you can't have gluten, you can always have. Like um, a gluten-free bread like this one, which I really love. I baked it just for this video. But I've been having sourdough for weeks now because it just tastes so freaking amazing. So I'm just gonna cut a couple of pieces. Mmm, -hmm. smells so good. So I'm just gonna put this on a pan with a bit of butter. I prefer to toast it on a pan because it's gonna give that crispy touch to your bread and it's not gonna dry up your bread. Yes. So what I'm gonna do next is to prep the cream cheese on top. So I actually got this dairy version because I don't like to have dairy all the time because I'm lactose intolerant. So I gotta have lactose every single time I eat lactose stuff. I got it, but it expired the next day. So nice. I can't have it because I don't want to have stomach ache. So I'm gonna be using the dairy version instead. And this is the light version. So it has less fat. Oh. There's not much sugar in here as well. Nice! Tons of protein! Wow! <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this. Oh my, oh my, oh, my toast is gonna burn. So we have a little bit of cream cheese in here. And we're just gonna splash a little bit of blue spirulina in here. Just a little bit. That's too much, man. That's too much. Whatever. It's gonna work. And we're gonna be having some avocado. If you wanna have some avocado on top, it's always nice. Nice to have some healthy fat. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of my avocado into my food processor because this is a little bit hard. I don't think I can mash it well. And then I'm gonna pop some cream cheese in it. A little bit of blue spirulina. I'm gonna blend this up in the food processor. I think this is a little bit too blue, but it's okay. It's gonna work. Look how beautiful it is. It is a really nice turquoise blue color, like the color of the ocean. So that's just avocado and cream cheese. You can add some salt, whatever you want, but this is just the base. Anyways, I got all my ingredients ready. I got my butter toast here. I'm just gonna spread my spirulina cream cheese on top. So just spread it on. Look at how beautiful that looks. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Looks beautiful. OMG. So on toast number two is the turquoise blue avocado cream cheese spread. I'm just giving you options guys. So I don't eat like this every day. I don't make different type of toast. I just have one type of toast. But for the sake of this video, I want to give you guys some options because not everyone likes to eat the same thing, you know what I mean? So you can have some avocado with cream cheese mashed together. You can add some salmon on top. Right, so that's toast number two. Toast number three, we can use the same avocado spread. You can add some avocado and then you can add more salmon on top. That's it, you can add some black pepper to season it, some salt, some coriander, parsley, anything you want. Anything you want. Mm. Mm. Okay, are you guys ready for the best snack ever? Best summer friendly snack. That doesn't even fucking make sense. Okay, all you have to do is to blend your frozen yogurt and it's gonna taste like soft serve. So just freeze your yogurt in the fridge overnight and then add some superfood powder, add some sweetener, and that's it. Easy, simple. I feel so silly sharing this because it's so easy. We just gotta have some easy snacks to go to, right? Something healthy, and if you can eat Greek yogurt, it's super high in protein. So if you need some protein, there you go. You got it. Okay, okay just pop some frozen yogurt in here. Okay guys, I have so many cuts on my fingers and my hands because I am a mess, okay? I can't, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like there's so many thoughts. I have so much thoughts in my head these days, so I'm so scattered. And that's the reason why I was having such a bad week because there was just too much things going on and I can't focus. That's the problem. 
Yes, that looks pretty. Very pretty. Yes. And then I'm just gonna blend it. Literally that simple. Although I've never made it before, but it's gonna work, right? Can't be wrong. Like, can't be wrong. This is like soft serve, guys. Mmm. <gasps> Mom, clean up. I have to do every time after I cook is insane. So I added a little bit of almond milk because. It was too thick, it was really hard to blend. This is pretty much making your own soft serve at home. Mmm, very good. Mmm, you gotta try it. It's very nice. Mmm. Hey guys, it's lunch. Can you guys see how amazing this looks? Like seriously? <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so proud of myself. I'm gonna give it a bite. Yes, it's so creamy. Mm. This literally made my day because it looks so pretty and just makes me feel I've accomplished something. I know it's like minimal, but it feels good, okay? Because I've been having a really shitty week. A lot of things happen. I don't think I can talk about any of these things right now. There's a lot of greedy people and corporations trying to do really mean things to me. So that, that doesn't make it easier. Although they don't really affect me, but with a lot of other things going on, it did affect my mental health. So that's the reason why I was not feeling great don't really want to talk about this because this is supposed to be a happy video i don't want to upset anyone which is which is my aim like i i like to be happy i was so close in not filming today's video because i wasn't feeling it i was really feeling shitty i cried all day yesterday so this morning i actually did a little workout just to deswell my face because my face and my eyes were like seriously <laughs> swollen i don't know if that happens to you but my face swell up when I cry. So I did a workout and then I was like, mm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling great right now. That's, like I really love working out because it makes me feel better. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna film my what I eat video because I've been trying to film this video for the entire week, but a lot of things happened and a lot of my groceries didn't come because of the lockdown. So Melbourne is under lockdown again. Um, so the delivery services are a little bit down as well because everyone's doing home delivery. So yeah, that's what happened. And I'm gonna eat now because I've been talking way too long like i'm getting hungry mm. you can have it with a toasty because guys this sauce this sauce okay it's amazing you can just take this creamy sauce pop it on top it's like cream cheese sauce vegan version you know so this is gonna last for about four meals because there are two cauliflowers in here and i'm introducing cauliflower <laughs> cauliflower and broccoli back into my diet but slowly like i'm not gonna have an entire cauliflower because i'll feel so bloated because i get a little bit bloated from certain crispers vegetables so i gotta be careful because if not i'll feel like crap for the rest of the day so i normally have a quarter to half the cauliflower per you know depending on how big the cauliflower is every time i have them and so far so good very minimal bloating very good <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna finish a quarter of this now with my toast or you can also have it with rice crackers if you don't wanna have toast. It's still gonna taste really good. So anyway, I'm gonna have a quarter of this with my rice cake and also my bread. And then I'm gonna clean up my wardrobe today because cleaning up makes me feel a lot better mentally. So yes, I feel like I haven't explained why this is so good. The reason why this is so good is because the cream sauce it tastes like cream cheese but vegan version and the topping is really crunchy because of the rice crumbs and also the vegan cheese. This is a gluten-free, dairy-free dish that you can enjoy if you're allergic to lactose or gluten. So I guess I just want to say that before I move on to cleaning my wardrobe. Alright guys, I thought I'll show you my streaming set and just my workspace just because I just clean it and it looks quite neat. A lot neater than normal so this is my computer my work computer my streaming computer and i just got my keyboard oh my god and this is my filming set as you guys know and it looks pretty similar to my old set i just brought everything from my old place over here and oh my god guys i got a diamond plate button look at how shiny it is 
the lighting was so bad but anyways i don't even want to touch it because i don't want any fingerprints on it it's supposed to be shiny you know it's a diamond all right <laughs> it is not a real diamond guys okay you know what i'm gonna pick up my diamond play button it's it's heavy but i can do it oh. Oh. <laughs> It's not that heavy. It's about three kilos, I think, or five kilos. It's pretty heavy for a little, like little plate over here. It's it's big, it's thick, it's heavy, it's shiny. Look at how shiny it is. Like this, tons of fingerprints on it right now because I just picked it up. But oh my god, guys, can you believe it? Can you guys believe it? This is this ten million of us right now, like. I just want to take this chance to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel like it seriously means so much to me that 10 million of you guys decided well there's like more than 10 million of us right now there's 11 point something right now so it's like mind-blowing i just can't believe it like seriously it's just really mind-blowing so yeah thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel thank you guys so much for being so positive thank you guys so much for being so supportive i really appreciate you guys and i really need you guys to know it because i feel like i don't say it enough because i find it cringy sometimes to be saying all these things because i'm just those type of people who are not really good in telling people how i feel so am i going in circles this is insane guys thank you guys so much for supporting my channel it means a lot to me and I don't know, and I feel like you guys are really proud to be part of this community which makes me extremely happy. A lot of you guys enjoy my Discord and a lot of you guys are so happy to have found the place because people in there are extremely positive. I just want to keep this place a happy place, a safe place, a place with no judgement and just, just a bunch of people who love to work out together and have yummy food together <laughs> and that's pretty much it i just want it to be a happy place so yeah thank you guys so much for being such amazing people who make this community so much better and i feel like i need to stop here because i am getting very cheesy <laughs> anyway i'm gonna show you guys my snack cabinet right now because i'm gonna have a little snack while i'm fixing up my wardrobe let's go Okay, here it is. This is my snack cabinet. It's a little bit extra because I bought a lot recently. This is one of my favorite cookies out there. Oh my god, so good. This is pretty good too. Not as good as this. This is gluten free. This is not. My favorite chocolate as you guys know. And there's plenty of chocolates <laughs> behind here. If you guys can see. Um, this is my new favorite snack which I'm gonna have right now. Team Tam as you guys know is a very popular Aussie um snack i love this rice cakes it's super tasty super yum it's got this i've never tried it before i think it's gonna be pretty good it's oven baked and this is adrian's favorite snack which is why it's here i don't i don't really like this um and i love this as well so that's pretty much the snack cabinet okay here's my bedroom and i'm still sleeping on my mattress on the floor which is totally fine because the mattress is so comfortable and I've got new pillows here, which I promise I'll open you guys up today and I'll use you because it has been two months, all right? It's time. <laughs> I think this is a pretty decent sized wardrobe. I'll just show you guys how it looks like in here. It's not too bad to be honest. Like, it's a little bit messy up here and here. Anyway, I'm gonna sort this out later. And I don't know what this, why this foundation is doing over here. It's just an extra foundation and I don't know where to place it, so it's in there. And here's the other side of the wardrobe, which is a lot neater because I literally just transferred everything from my other home over here. So I didn't really have to do much, but to organize a little bit of these socks over here, a bag here. <laughs> so here are my favorite foundations. These are the only foundations that I use. My skincare, a little mirror. Hello! And these are all my makeup and these are all I use. Like I don't use everything here but these are all the makeups I have. I don't need anything more than this because I'll just be throwing them out. I do have a lot of lip products though because I'm obsessed with lip products and yeah that's it. There's really nothing much in my room which is why I never share it because I'm just a very boring basic person alright? Okay? Okay. 
I'll see you guys at dinner. Hi. So I changed my outfit because I was feeling so uncomfortable from my period bloat. So here it is, very comfy. And here's my dinner. Look at how amazing that looks. Oh my god, it looks so good in this camera. Okay, let's have the first bite. Let's have my salmon first. So I cooked it in more soy sauce, amino sauce, and a bit of sesame oil. Mm -hmm. Good, very good. Now this is the fun part that I like to do on camera. How does that sound? A bit salty, damn. Some noodles, some slurp slurp. Mm. This is seriously so good. Like this is what I need right now because eating that Greek yogurt just now was a bad idea because I had my period. So I took a painkiller because I was in so much pain after. I didn't finish it, I only finished half of it. The pain was real, okay? The pain was real. It has been a couple of hours since I had my period, so that's when the cramps kick in and I had yogurt. Not very smart of me. So I have some ginger in here, which helps to heat up my body a little bit, which will help. Dinner is really good. Noodles, really yummy. I'm using soba noodle here, which is gluten-free, but you can always use ramen or something else, like whatever you have at home. Rice noodles? Rice noodles are great too, but I love soba. It's like yaki soba. This tastes a little bit like yaki soba. This is getting really awkward. <laughs> anyway, I should end the video here today because I feel like this video is getting a little bit long. I'm not sure. That happens all the time when I'm doing a what I eat video. It gets way too long and takes me forever to edit. So I'm gonna end it right here. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And even if you don't like it, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you want more food recipe based videos or any sort of videos. Let me know down in the comments. And thank you guys so much for 10 million subs. This 11 million of us right now. I think it's close to 12 million. So thank you guys so freaking much. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, I have a new program coming up in less than two weeks. You can use dumbbells in this program, especially if you want to bring it up a notch. But if you don't have a set of dumbbells, it's okay because I've included no dumbbells version. So you'll be fine. And yeah, that's it, guys. That's it. This is the longest outro ever. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.